So, you are dirt poor, and yet you still want to get the event tower anyways? Well, here's the exact strategy to beat the Christmas event without any teammates using the cheapest loadout so you won't need to grind your life away. Firstly, ensure you join the Paradox and Games group to get 100 free cash at the start. Next, here are the following towers you will need. Commander DJ Pyro Ranger and Militant One thing that must be said is that the strat can be very RNG dependent, mainly on the last wave. And so, you have been warned. Once you get into the map, you will be quickly swarmed by elves, so you will need a few militants to keep them in place. Get 3 level 1 militants and place them at this spot quickly, because you will be losing a lot of lives. After that, place 3 level 0 militants at this spot, and place 2 level 2 pyros, which have to be positioned in these two places. Upgrade this level 1 militant in the middle to level 3, and at this point, just get a single ranger and keep upgrading until you kill the red elf, which will get there. Slowly. Congrats on surviving, I guess. Once you come back onto ground level, place a level 3 DJ in this spot and place a level 5 pyro, which will burn all enemies that come from the entrance. Start placing two level 1 rangers one by one. Oh, and please place it at the corners. Get a level 2 commander afterwards and use the ability whenever it is available. Though you could get away with not using it. Get 4 level 2 militants with 2 militants on each side. Place 2 more level 1 rangers, max the commander and upgrade all militants to level 3. Then you should upgrade one of these militants on each side to level 4. And then you should upgrade all rangers to level 3. You have survived again. Now, you need to be ready as enemies will quickly swarm the area in a few seconds. So what do you place? Get a level 5 DJ in this specific spot, get 2 level 5 paramancers in this spot, get 6 level 2 rangers in these 2 towers, then get 3 level 5 commanders and spam a sh ton of max level militants until you hit the placement limit. After you have done all of that, you should change the commander ability. This is done by using the commander ability after the previous ability's effects eventually wears off. Anyways, you should set 2 of the rangers to target stronger so that it focuses on Krampus at all times. Get all rangers to level 3, then max them out. The last wave. This is what I mean when it's RNG dependent. Krampus will have two different paths which can easily dictate whether you win the game or not. The path on the right is very generous, being pretty long and will give you an easy win. However, the path on the left is... well... Oh no! Yeah, I think it's obvious why this is a problem. Despite all of this, there may be some hope. Okay, if you are a mobile player and Kraps is on the wrong path, then you should give up and just restart. But if you play with a keyboard and a mouse, then it is possible to beat it. Sell the militants and pyromancers at the front and spam militants at the back. Get a few commanders in there too, so you can make the militants constantly attack faster. You will need to constantly have perfect commander chaining as well as microing. This isn't a guaranteed win, but it'll give you a chance even in the worst case. And there you have it, you finally beat the event. Of course, if you have mini gardens instead of militants, then I highly recommend that you check out the Red Top Hats video in the description. It's basically much more guaranteed to win. But anyways, good luck grinding all the quests, I guess. <laughs>